Bill's considering some changes to public safety to keep up with some rapid growth there. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson breaks down the proposed changes. City leaders tell me from 2010 to 2020, the population of the city increased by 28% and it's expected to keep growing. That's why they say it's important to have enough public safety officers right now. Between the traffic and construction everywhere, Simpsonville is already a busy place. When they're busting at the seams with the people moving in the area. As the town experiences a growth spurt. So most people seem like they're uh, transplants. Breaking ground probably November. City Administrator Diana Gracely says they've increased the new proposed budget quite a bit for public safety. The growth has been exponential in Simpsonville and it's important to have enough public safety officers to handle the growth so that our response times stay relatively the same. If the budget passes, it will include funds Funding for four new patrol officers. They just need more for the area's coverage. Houses going up, practically sitting on top of each other, so police are much needed. The city is also applying for grant funding to add two resource officers, each placed at the elementary schools. One of my daughters is a teacher, and I fear every day. That's the my family to move out here. After the recent rise in mass shootings, it's something residents like Seth Watson says is needed. I think every parent gets a little scared when they hear about all those stories, so it's great to know that we're going to put more money into making sure our children are safe at school. In addition, they've budgeted for new equipment for those officers and new body cameras for the entire force. We think public accountability is very important. It seemed to be the right course of action for us to make sure that our officers are equipped to do their job. All things the city says they're doing to prepare for future growth. The city administrator says the first reading of the budget passed and there will be a second and final reading along with a public hearing on June 14th. In Simpsonville, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Now, the city says as soon as the budget passes, they're going to start buying the new equipment. The budget takes effect in the new fiscal year, July 1st.